Let's take a look at the different ways we can change our IP address on Windows Server 2025. This may look as similar in Windows Server 2022, but the menus and the graphics look just a little bit different in other versions or older versions of Windows Server. I'm also going to show you how to do this with Command Prompt and PowerShell, which is going to be the same on older versions as well. So I'm going to start by going to this little picture of this network icon in the lower right-hand corner and choosing by right-clicking Network and Adapter Settings. And once I'm in the network and adapter settings, I'm going to click on Ethernet. I'm going to go down to where it says IP assignment and click edit. Now yours might say DHCP at this point, and if it does, you can see this drop down right here. Then you can go ahead and just click and change it to manual. Now, when you change it to manual, I'm not going to tell you which IP address to use because I don't know what's on the inside of your internal network. And changing this IP address will not change the public IP that you have on the outside of your firewall. This is just changing the inside IP address. So if you're a gamer hoping to change your IP that's been banned, this is not going to help you because this is the inside IP address and not the outside of your firewall. So let's just say that I've got this IP address at dot 25. I'm going to change it to dot 26. I'm going to leave the subnet mask and gateway the same. And then when you see this preferred DNS, so if the preferred DNS shows 127.001, that means it's pointing back to itself at this address that you see right here. And the only time you would want to do that is if this server is also a domain controller running DNS. And otherwise, you'll want to change this to be another IP address, either on the inside of your network that's running DNS, or if you don't have Active Directory, you could put in a public DNS IP address like Google's 8888. Uh, but in my case, this is a domain controller, so I'm just going to leave it at 127.001. So that way, if I ever change my IP address here, it's automatically still going to point to it here because this is your your catch-all, just refer to whatever the, your static IP address is that you see. So once you've changed all that, you click Save, and now that IP address has changed. Now, if this is also a domain controller, you're going to want to restart Active Directory services as well. Otherwise, people may not be able to find your server. Now I'm going to show you how to do this through command prompt. So I'm going to go down to search box and type command. And I'm going to make sure I run this as an administrator because of the fact there might be some security issues with running it as a standard user and it might get blocked. So I'm going to go ahead and expand that. And now I'm going to type in the command to show my different IPv4 interfaces. And in this video, I'm only showing IPv4 since that's what most people use on the inside of their network. So here's the command. Now, this is not PowerShell. This is just command line. I'm going to show PowerShell after this. So you have NetSH followed by interface and then IPv4 because that's what we want to look at and show config. Now, the reason for showing this is because we want to see the interfaces on here. So I know the name of the interface to change. So I'm going to leave my loop back just the way it is. You might get this blocked message. That's okay. We're just going ahead and uh, dismiss that uh, because there's this automatic thing in 2025 that's going to try to block every kind of change that can be made. So the name of my interface is Ethernet. So that's the important part of this part of the conversation. So now I'm going to type in NetSH interface IPv4 set address. So I'm going to set the IP address. It's going to be a static address. And the name of the interface I'm changing is Ethernet. You never want to change the loopback, obviously, because that's actually just pointing back to whatever IP address you have. Then it's going to be static. You can also choose dynamic or DHCP as well, but I'm showing you how to change the IP address. I'm not showing you how to set it back to automatic. Now I want to set the IP address. So first I'm starting with the IP address itself. I'm going to make it 172.20.173.25. Again, this is not going to be your IP address. You have to use one that's on your subnet. This is followed by the uh, subnet mask. So I'll go ahead and enter that. I want to keep the same subnet mask that I have. And then I'm going to go with the gateway. And I got that information right here in the gateway area. So what I've set is the IP, the subnet mask, and the gateway. Press Enter. And now my IP address has changed. I'm going to just do another show config just to make sure. And there it has changed. Now I'm going to go into PowerShell and do the same things, but using commandlets 
with PowerShell. I'm going to start with the get-net adapter. So once again, I know which adapter to change because you might have multiple different network interface cards in your computer. So once again, it says the name is Ethernet, so that's going to be easy. Now that we have the name of our adapter, we can go ahead and type in the command for setting the IP address. So what we want to do is type in the new dash net IP address, followed by the interface alias. So in this case, it's going to be Ethernet, which is the same name that you see underneath the name in the top left. Now, this is a virtual machine, so it's always going to be called Ethernet. The second one's going to be called Ethernet 2, etc., unless you manually change that. After that, it's going to be the IP address that I'd like to set this particular device to, and then the IPv4 address family. So we're using TCP IP version 4. After that, we have the prefix length, which is set to 20. So that's basically the uh, 255, 255, et cetera, type of thing, which is where you add up the prefix length. So whatever your subnet mask is, whatever the CIDR notation is for that, that's what you're going to put here. Now, if you also need to put in the default gateway, then you can type in dash default gateway, and it will put that IP address that you type in afterwards there. But in my case, my default gateway is already set. Now I'm going to go ahead and change this IP because that's what the current IP is now. So I'm going to change that to a new IP address and press Enter. I've set my IP address using PowerShell and the new dash net IP address commandlet. So there's the three different ways that you can set your IP address to a static IP using Windows Server 2025, PowerShell commands, as well as the graphical user interface.